Dan and Mike are sitting on the couch, smoking a joint and working on their laptops. Hey Dan, have you seen this message from Jolly Lama? No, what did it say? That his selecting the genetic alanones causing the shroom phenomenon in his lab up on the holy mountain, and he has something to show us. What? That's fucking weird, dude. We gotta go. I thought that's what you'd say. Let's go. The holy mountain is shrouded in an ethereal mist. Dan and Mike cautiously step into Jolly's garden, their eyes scanning the chaotic scene before them. Broken pieces of machinery and scattered tools litter the ground, a testament to Jolly's fervent experimentation. The air is thick with anticipation. Whoa, the colors. I hope he has weed in this garden. <laughs> the garden itself is a mesmerizing, is a mesmerizing sight. Vibrant flowers of various shapes and sizes bloom in every corner. Their colors a symphony against the lush greenery. The gentle breeze carries the enchanting scent of wild herbs infusing the atmosphere with a sense of magic <clears throat> but amidst the beauty there is an undeniable urgency do you feel that it's coming from over there as dan and mike move deeper into the garden their senses heightened their attention is drawn to a captivating blue-green orb emitting a soft pulsating glow from the center. Its ethereal light dances across their faces, beckoning them closer. The garden is alive with movement and sound. Butterflies flutter gracefully from flower to flower, their delicate wings casting fleeting shadows on the ground. Birds perch on branches, their melodic sounds adding to the mystical ambiance. The energy is palpable. Damn, wait. Amidst this ethereal scene, Dan and Mike's eyes are drawn to a startling sight. Jolly, the enigmatic figure they've sought, is being cradled in the arms of one of his robots. Its metallic fingers have transformed into a rubber mouth guard, delicately securing Jolly's head, providing support during his violent seizure. What's happening to him? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. But that robot seems to be doing something to help him. We need to stay calm and figure out what's going on. They approach the scene cautiously, stepping over the scattered tools and broken machinery. Their eyes never leave Jolly's trembling form, their concern etched on their faces. What's that goo on the ground? Did we step on something? It's these mushrooms. They seem to be oozing some kind of strange substance. But let's focus on Jolly for now. Just as they are about to retreat, their phones simultaneously buzz, indicating the arrival of a text message. They retrieve their phones and they read the message together. On Dan and Mike's phone, Jolly's text reads P Cube Flan Fox. What does this even mean? It's some sort of code. Hmm. Maybe it's a clue. Jolly must be trying to tell us something. A brilliant white, blue, and green light suddenly emanates from Jolly's eyes, engulfing the entire garden. 
Dan and Mike shield their eyes, momentarily blinded by the radiant glow. What in the world is happening? It's like he's transfer transforming into pure light. Hypnotized by the spectacle before them, they stand in awe as Jolly's body continues to radiate the captivating hues. We just can't stand here. He needs our help. But what can we do? We can't even pry the robot's grip off him. Their eyes drift to the glowing mushrooms surrounding them, their illumination more pronounced amidst the brilliance of Jolly's transformation. Wait a minute. Jolly has something... Jolly has been experimenting with mushrooms. Maybe there's a connection. You think these mushrooms are responsible for his transformation? It's possible. We need to understand more about them. Maybe they hold the key to, to helping Jolly. They exchange glances and embark on a meticulous examination of the luminous mushrooms, determined to unravel the mystery behind Jolly's extraordinary metamorphosis. Damn, are we tripping? You're, you're blending into the background. We're, we're either tripping, or we stepped into another dimension. What, what makes you say that? The ethereal beings surrounding Jolly, can you see them? Dan and Mike's eyes open wide with awe as they look at their friends surrounded by a white, a blue, and a green ethereal being that can only be described as eternity. Dan at the 420 party, smoking weed and having a good time with Mike. <coughs> They're waiting for Jolly to share the news on the latest breakthrough on their latest coding project, when Dan realizes that the crypto wallet containing all the coins for the cartel is missing. Fuck, dude. These are not reasonable people. They don't fuck around. Uh, when's the last time you remember seeing it? I sent a message to Jolly to meet us here, and now it's gone. Cut to a montage of Dan and Mike frantically searching for the lost wallet, going through their, mem their memories of the party and retracing their steps. The tension builds as they realize the stakes of the situation. This, this isn't just about money, dude. This is about the future. Our AI is going to change the game. And we can't just let these stupid shits set us back. Cut to a shot of two blades, one of the cartel's muscle, who walks into the bar looking menacing and angry. Hey, you two guys are having a party and didn't invite your business partners. If we gave a shit, my butt would be hurt. Hey man, always good to see you. Sorry, we were busy, you know, with our new coding project. Sorry we've been MIA, but you know. You would think as much weed as you smoke, Dan, that you, that you would be more chill. Relax, homie. We are always watching you two smart fuckers, just in case you need our help. Says Two Blades, as he puts his arms around them as to increase the threat and to really let them know that he is not fucking around. Uh, we're watching you. Don't disappoint us. Uh, yeah. Thanks, dude. Can, can we buy you a drink? No, I'm on the clock. And I'm like you two crazy fucks. I care about my job. Enjoy yourself tonight, boys. Two Blades releases them from his grips and walks away to exit the party. Cut back to Dan and Mike, shitting themselves 
and trying to play it cool and hyper-focused on their new mission after what just happened. Don't trip, Dan. We'll find the wallet. But, I mean, it is 420, dude. Let's blaze and try to Blaze it! Us. <laughs> Jolly, it's coming. If you can jumpstart your memory, it's gonna be those fucking shrooms that are about to come through. Shot ends. Dan and Mike staring off into the distance, looking determined and ready for shrooms to come their way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how crazy that one was. <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared a couple times. Like, is Jolly gonna be okay? Where's Jolly? Where is Jolly? Is Jolly here? We got a shackle. 